Today we're going to show you how to use the Cascadia clips with metal roof panels in a low slope roof application. In order to ensure you have the right layout of the clips, first create a jig out of plywood. You want to use a piece of plywood that's a little bigger than 2 foot by 8 foot so that you can space the Cascadia clips at approximately 2 foot by 2 foot spacing. Before you start placing the Cascadia clips, you want to use a sealant on the bottom of the clips to cover the holes. This will ensure a tight waterproof seal when we attach the clips to the roof deck. Press the clips onto the roof using the jig as your guide, making sure that the sealant comes up through the holes on the bottom. Attach the screws to the roof sheathing by using two small screws at the base of the clip. This is just meant to keep the clips in place and is not the structural connection for the roofing panels. Once the clips are in place, remove the jig and use the sealant to seal around the base of the clip and at the screw heads to ensure it is watertight. Only do the three sides of the clip facing up the roof slope so that any water that penetrates can drain. Ensure that the sealant is fully covering any joints. Continue to do this until you have a grid of Cascadia clips, and then you can move on to installing the insulation. Fit semi-rigid insulation boards measuring 2 feet by 4 feet in between rows of clips, ensuring you pressure fit the insulation around the clips. You can prep for the installation of the insulation layer by cutting a few boards into pieces measuring 4 inches by 2 feet. Those smaller pieces will fit in the remaining space between clips as shown. Once you have the first layer of insulation complete, add a second layer of 2 foot by 4 foot pieces laying perpendicular to the first layer. Now you'll be using strips of insulation measuring 3 quarter inches by 2 feet to fill in the gaps between clips as shown. Cover the two layers of insulation with a water-resistant membrane, poking holes through the membrane at Cascadia clip locations as you go. When attaching the Cascadia clip screws to a corrugated roof deck, make sure that the screws are long enough to penetrate the very bottom of the deck so that you don't have to worry about clip locations. Place the hat track over top of the row of clips and poke the screws through the membrane and through the holes in the clip. To ensure proper drainage on the roof slope, place horseshoe shims in behind the hat track and then install the screws, ensuring the clips are attached to the roof deck. Do the same steps for the next hat track, making sure not to forget drainage shims. Now that you have the hat tracks in place connected to your roof deck via the Cascadia clips, you can install your roof panels like you would to standard hat tracks in a normal application. <laughs> 